इसरो के वैज्ञानिकों को बड़ी कामयाबी हासिल हुई है दरअसल भारत के सौर मिशन आदित्य एलवन ने सारी बाधाओं को पार करते हुए हेलो कक्षा में प्रवेश कर लिया है इस पर इसरो के अध्यक्ष ए सोमनाथ ने खुशी जाहिर की है उन्होंने इसको लेकर कहा है कि आज केवल आदित्य एलवन को सटीक हेलो कक्षा में स्थापित करना था यह उच्च कक्षा की ओर बढ़ रहा था हालांकि हमें थोड़ा सा सुधार करना पड़ा इसरो चीफ के मुताबिक आदित्य एलवन सही जगह पर है हम अगले कुछ घंटों तक इसकी निगरानी करेंगे उन्होंने बताया अगर यह अपने तय रास्ते से थोड़ा भी भटकता है तो हमें थोड़ा सा और सुधार करना पड़ सकता है हालांकि ऐसा होने की उम्मीद भी बिल्कुल न के बराबर है इसरो चीफ ने बताया कि इसरो ने तस्वीरें पहले ही वेबसाइट पर डाल दी है उपग्रह में बचे हुए ईंधन से कम से कम पांच सालों तक जीवन की गारंटी है उन्होंने क्या कुछ बताया सुनवा दें आपको so it was moving towards a higher orbit but we had to do a little bit of corrections to put it at the right place so something like a 31 meter per second velocity has to be given cumulatively to in, uh, to the satellite to keep it at the right uh, orientation so basically it's a halo orbit is an orbit which uh, moves around l1 point with a size of 6 lakh kilometer in one direction uh, 2 plus lakh in one another direction 3 1 lakh in one lakh kilometer in another direction so it form like an egg so in this new orbit it has to be placed it has to be very precisely put if we don't do the correction today it will escape from this point okay we will not allow it to escape if it cannot happen there are some contingencies but i am only telling mathematically it can escape so that has been very precisely done ultimately what we achieved today is exact placement based on our measurement and very correct prediction of the velocity requirement the computer decided to cut off at the accelerometer based cut off has happened so uh, right now it is at the in our calculation it is at the right place but we are going to monitor for next few hours to see whether it is at the right place mm -hmm. then if it is slightly drifted we may have to do a little bit of correction now and we don't expect that to happen how important all this can play sir because as far as understanding the sun is concerned see the scientific aspect of uh, this particular mission has already been well described uh, because uh, it is going to look at the solar coronal mass ejection cme basically using a primary instrument called the the vlc which is uh, developed by indian institute of astrophysics and uh, this will uh, look at the corona part of the uh, uh, sun almost three times its diameter uh, distance away and uh, corroborating that there will be other measurements uh, which is again a, by a payload called suit which is an uh, which is going to look at the entire disk of the sun in uh, ultraviolet in various frequency bands which is already images have been we have already put out in the website we also have particle measurements uh, in the M, what is coming out of the sun by the payload called the papa then we also have x ray measurements which is in low energy and high energy x ray measurement we also have magnetometer which looks at the space magnetic field which is coming for because of this ejections so it is a and so uh, so yeah solar wind is essentially the particle uh, emission which is happening so we look at all of this in a in a very correlated manner which is very unique part of this mission this is not only a national mission but also the international community see everybody is looking at it yeah because uh, understanding sun is not important for india alone it's center for the entire global so this is what precisely after chandrayaan 3 landing also our honorable prime minister told chandrayaan 3 is for the whole of the world not for india alone so the solar mission aditya elwan is also for the whole of this uh, world for all of us to understand and make use of this scientific importance so here the Im impact is on the space weather you know space weather is more <laughs> controlled by such activities especially the uh, behavior of the uh, sun which affects our magnetic external fields and then it's a uh, impact more on northern latitude and southern latitude which is more dominant in southern latitude northern latitudes and of course southern light not much in the equatorial region so it is more dominant for areas other than india precisely to to be technically correct so that way lot of people are interested uh, to understand this effect so we look forward to lot of scientific outcome come in the coming days at least 5 years of life is guaranteed with the fuel left out in the satellite also yes so how 